This is Marshall Reloading and today I'll show you how to make a uh, bullet lube extruder. I'm going to start off with inch and a half schedule 40 PVC pipe and you'll need to put a half inch notch in the end of it centered up. This half inch notch is for a piece of half inch steel, half inch square steel. Um, you need to make sure that you're going to get as much support as you can from this plastic by matching this up, cutting it right. And then if you have a center finder, I would mark the center of the steel using the outside of the plastic as a reference. That way if your slot's a little bit off center, you can correct for that. Um, just mark the steel with an X or top or out. That way when you put it back, you make sure you get the right side up. You don't flip it over and just make it worse. Um, so once you get this piece cut to length, mark it, drill and tap for 5 16 18 all the way through. Then there's a few different of these PVC end caps you can get. Um, really just the difference I've seen is the length of glue surface here. Make sure you get one with a long glue surface. Uh, some of them just have a glue surface that's a half inch long. So you'll extrude out a thin ribbon on the side if you don't get these deep ones. I'm going to kind of show you here real quick. I put my, well you can see it comes up to the, the inch mark. So you got some good space here to get glued so it's not going to leak. The shorter ones you're going to get leaking. So just make sure you get a long one. Glue that on nicely. Then you can make these different lengths. But this piece of pipe is 14 and a quarter inches long. And you can see how much of the 5 16 18 threaded rod sticks out the back. But it's really not important back here as much as up front. Although you still want this sticking out the back a little bit. That way, if your drilled and tapped holes a little bit off center, you can use your end cap to center it up to put it in. Um, if it's down below and it's off centered, you're going to have a really hard time putting it together. So just make sure that sticks out and then you have some leverage to move it around wherever to get it started. Um, this end, these inch and a half threads, you're going to need a plastic inch and a half to one inch reducer. And that reducer, this is a one inch plastic uh, nipple that I just cut in half. That way I get two of them for just buying the one part. And then you want to make sure that you get this depth set right. So with everything attached up front, you can still get this nut started on. So as you fill it, this will seal it off for you. Um, you know, if you're really far back here, that's okay. You just want to make sure you can do this to seal it off. Um, again. I did the 5 16 18 rod, 18 inches long. That'll work with the 14 and a quarter inch PVC tube. Final part is just making what I call the drive shaft. It's half inch copper pipe, type M, the cheap stuff. Um, make sure you get the, the thin wall version because that's what works with the, the coupling nuts and when you're buying 5 16 18 coupling nuts, make sure you get the ones that are going to be a pretty close fit inside the pipe. Um, I did find one time when I went shopping that there's ones that are way too small. Um, of course, I didn't figure that out until I went got home. But just make sure you get coupling nuts. They're going to be a lot longer than a standard nut. They're going to go straight. Um, you won't have problems. It's worth spending a little bit extra money to get rid of your headaches. 
The other thing I do to make sure that those nuts stay straight is I'll have the threaded rod come through. The nuts will both be on the threaded rod as I'm soldering it. Um, because of the heat and the expansion, you know, make sure this nut's very close to the end because it's going to bind as this cools and it's going to be hard against the threads. But you can get it to turn off, and as soon as you get it turn off this end, just put a drill chuck lightly on the other end, and you can just power that out real quick and easy. <clears throat> The last part you need is this pusher. Uh, this is just a one inch PVC pipe cap with a fender washer in it. Um, I turn this one down on the lathe. You can also use a uh, bolt and a nut and a sanding block. Just chuck the bolt up in your drill press or your hand drill and use the sanding block and you get it sanded down to dimension pretty quick and easier. It's not that quick, but you can get there. Um, just make sure if you're doing that to keep test fitting both ends into the pipe. You want just a little bit of drag. Um, if you don't test fit both ends, you could be tapering the part. Um, so it's not going to seal as good. You'll just, because it'll be tapered so bad, you'll just seal up here on this little corner and it'll start wearing down quick. Um, so just Test fit both ends to make sure you're, you're sanding parallel. So kind of a quick recap and so you can see everything here at once. This is a 5 16 fender washer, 5 16 nut, the 5 16 18 all thread. That's a one inch pipe nipple that I've cut down. Here is a inch and a half to one inch threaded reducer. This is an inch and a half, to inch and a half pipe thread glue on coupling. Make sure you get the long glue surface here. Actually, just for a quick reference, you can see here on the outside it's probably you know, just around an inch and a half there. Total length is two and a half. Um, so just make sure you get the the long one. Um, inch and a half PVC schedule 40. Here's your half inch copper rod. Here's the uh, 5 16 18 coupling nut. And then this, the final part is just a 5 16 bolt that's just partially threaded. And you can either double nut it to lock it up against this one. I may have I don't know how I locked this one in there, but it's there. Um, and then once you have it locked into the coupling nut, it's a lot easier just to take it over to your saw or hacksaw off the head at that point in time. Clean up the end, deburr it, and then you can use your drill chuck there. Uh, but that's how you make the uh, bullet lube extruder. Hope you have fun making it, and uh, please check out some of my other videos. Thank you.